Hello, I'm Gretchen Small, Director of Programs and Collections at Dear Wyman House and Butterworth Center, and welcome to my December Curator's Pick. So here's the picture I want to share with you today. I think you can see why I like it so much. Let's talk about the overall description of the picture first. The actual photograph measures nine and a half by seven and a half inches. The card mount measures 14 inches by 11 inches. It's a beautiful picture of a horse-drawn sleigh going down the street, well actually holding still in the middle of the street, uh, because during that time period they couldn't take moving pictures. And so the photographer would have had to have asked Charles Deere to stop, hold the horses still while he took the photograph. But we see a beautiful horse-drawn sleigh. Uh, a couple other things I love to point out are the two dogs near the horses. Luckily, they held really still. Uh, I also love the steam coming out of the horses' snouts. And I love the gentleman clear over to the far right with the wonderful top hat and the great big long fur coat. Now, I've already mentioned Charles Deere. He's the one driving the sleigh. And in the very back of the sleigh is his wife, Mary Deere. And she's holding uh, one of their dogs, a little black and white dog whose name was Spot. There's two other women uh, just behind Charles Deere. I can't make out exactly who it is in the sleigh with Mary. I also see a wonderful old brick building uh, in the background. The grocery store, Holton Savage Grocers. And down in the far right hand corner, you won't be able to see it, but pressed into the picture was E.E. E. Mangold Photos, Moline, Illinois. Now, let's talk about how I was able to date this picture to a very short time period. Usually, I'm really thrilled if I can date a picture down to within a five-year span. It's even better if somebody actually wrote on the picture the date of the photo. But I didn't have that in this picture. And there's lots of clues in this picture that I could use, but none of them would bring it down to a very short time span of that 1896 to 1898. So how did I do it? I could do it by the photographer stamp. Problem is, E.E. E. Mangold uh, worked for quite a number of years in Moline. I looked at Charles and Mary. They both have gray hair in this picture, which tells me they were older. Uh, we know that Charles Deere died in 1907, so the picture had to be before 1907. It's hard to see from the women's clothing. That usually can help me date a, a photograph, uh, but... Um, with their jackets on, their hats, probably 1890s. So the final clue that I looked at in this picture was that Holton Savage Grocers. I thought, okay, maybe I can find out where the picture was taken by the location of Holton Savage Grocers. So I went to our county historical society and opened up the city directories. I started in 1890 and started working my way forward. In 1896, I found Holton Savage Grocers located in Moline at 408 15th Street. I then wanted to find out, okay, how long were they in that location? So I went to the next set of city directories. And finally, 1898, they were still there, 
but then the next city directory, they were gone. And so that told me that this picture was taken between 1896 and 1898 on 15th Street in Moline in the 400 block. This building is now gone. Uh, for those of you listening from Moline, it sits on 15th Street just south of the Model Printers building and just across the street from the John Deere Pavilion today. Out of curiosity, I wondered where E.E. E. Mangold's photography studio was during this time period. And uh, I checked my records, and from 1891 from till until 1898, he was at 401-15th Street, Moline, right across the street from Holt and Savage Grocers. So I hope you've enjoyed a little bit about this great photograph. Uh, when I see such a detailed photograph like this, I like to make up a story. And I imagined that E.E. E. Mangold looked out his window and saw Charles Deere coming down the street in his sleigh. He ran out, stopped Charles Deere, asked him if he could take his photograph. Charles Deere held those horses good and still. Uh, the dogs held nice and still, luckily. And E.E. E. Mangold got his photo. Then Charles Deere could head on his way because I'm sure, as we can see from the horse's snouts, that it was a cold day. Then later, after it was developed and mounted, E.E. E. Mangold sold the photo to uh, Charles Deere. Hope to see you next month. It'll be 2021 for my next curator's pick. Thank you.